Sins committed against you. B me. Prefer play by post for various reasons. Fluctuating schedule. I'm a better writer than I am an improv voice actor. No time for live sessions longer than two hours. Somehow find a solid server for the exact kind of gameplay I like. Everyone seems really cool. Enthused. GM runs me through the solo intro thing on Tabletop Simulator. Tells me how much he loves my character. Finally get to my first real quest. Get partnered with another new player. Anime profile pic. <laughs> why, is it, why, why does this always happen? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to play. They don't know how to use the server's incredibly basic role functions. To be fair though, like, like, it took me a long time on little twenty long time. to fully master all the command maybe functions. I'm so I'm semi boomer. Yeah, maybe it's just because. Yeah, okay. Look, I'm a boomer. I'm accepting it. You know, it's not that bad. <laughs> Mate, the idea of screenshots to me was like technology mind blowing. <laughs> The internet exists, and it's not just Google. (laughs) (laughs) They only post once every six hours. The average player posts in other threads is nearly ten times a day. My play is now at a standstill. I have to pretty much slog this out until they move on, because players like this only think they want to play. When they actually play, they do quickly realise playing is too much for them, because the DMs are probably too nice to not see this incredibly slow train wreck. I guess this is the filter I have to endure to get into the player group who actually plays the game. Like, it's when I come, like, finding players online is, is really difficult. Like, there's a lot of crazy people on the internet. I would say just stick with it if it's something, it seems if to the be server, something if, that really suits you. If the server seems good, just then, stick with yeah. It. Like, they might just throw you in. Or just be, be like, ask the DMs, like, like, this fellow's got an anime profile picture. Obviously he's cringe. <laughs> Obviously, he's cringe. Like, yes. you know, like, can you please let me play with other people? <laughs> yeah, like you know, like I'm, I go, I'm, like I'm going enthusiastic. I want to get in there, but one post in every six hours just incontinent for me. No, you know, no. I want to enjoy myself. Yeah, I have a two-hour commute, so I keep a small bag of peanut M and M's in my car. In September, my car was broken into. They didn't take any change or phone charger or aux cord or anything. Just my M and M's. What? Oh, sad times, bro. They didn't even take the car. They just took your M and M's. Who goes through the effort of breaking into someone's car over M and M's? Hungry people. Tabletop related. Okay, okay, okay. Well, like that's still pretty. That, that's a that's sin definitely that calls. A sin. Yeah. Be me. First game ever. Chaotic good barbarian. Told chaotic good isn't realistic. Can only be chaotic neutral or neutral good. Um. Okay. Sure. Why not? Neutral good. It is. Four or five sessions in. I'm told lawful good because good can only be lawful or something to that effect. Decide fuck it. If I'm lawful, might as well be lawful. Town mayor is murdered. Stand in elections to replace him. Win. Okay, Anon. Let's designate a stand-in mayor for you. What? Well, I guess you can stay mayor, but we would have to retire your character and have you make a new one. Otherwise, you aren't adventuring. Should have just quit there. Sam GM split the party after a total party kill and let one player go off on his own. Also let the player control two characters who were mortal enemies, a la Batman and Joker. <laughs> this guy would this guy would fight with himself for an hour or two, while the rest of the party did nothing but because DM found it hilarious. Why, Honestly, why? I think a player as the mayor could be quite interesting. I think you could have Especially, fun with that. Yeah, I think you could have fun with that. Can you make him an adventure mayor? Is it not? Is that not going to happen? Like all I'm going to say is, I really don't like alignment charts. I'm not into them. I no. know a lot. You know the problem is, it doesn't matter. Like if you want to have alignment, <coughs> most people have alignment on their sheet. It, anyway. it doesn't Just matter what you habit, think of it, though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think or what I think. It what matters is the individual DM thinks, and because it's yeah. not in good fucking fine print that everyone understands yeah. it's a shit set. like it just yeah. doesn't work there needs to be and a better honestly, way about this most of the most of the people who i know who play lawful good are chaotic absolutely chaotic fu- fucking evil e- well lawful evil okay <laughs> but you know mm, like i suppose like if you're gonna play that paladin and you either play the lawful stupid or you play burn them all let god sort them out or yeah. no sorry kill them all let god, god sort, sort them, them out. out yeah yeah something along those yeah. lines what do you guys make of alignment? Also, I'm kind of sick of it at this point. I'm sick it's, of it. It causes it causes too much hassle for my liking. Like you know, like 
The problem and then is, you're in the middle of a really good encounter, and you're doing something, and then somebody reminds like, you. Oh, that's oh not by the way, that's not, that's not how yeah, you, you, you should be playing it because yeah. you're meant to be at lawful good yeah, or lawful. Like, uh, how like, about how about no? How about I'll just. If fuck, I want to chop off his toes, I'll chop off his, his fucking, fucking toes. toes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That would be a good way to put it. Playing in a long, complicated COC campaign. I'm not going to say Call of Cthulhu or, or Chaos Corruption of Champions or whatever, whatever it is because you're. Anytime I say one, you're like it's the other no one. one. <laughs> Look, it's Clash of Clowns. <laughs> a million NPCs and story pieces. A million handouts. Literally and physically impossible to keep track of things without taking notes. I take notes. Other player take notes. One player spends a long time justifying and rationalising why he <laughs> needn't take notes. Okay, sure. Whatever makes you feel better. One person doing it is enough. I lit- it literally doesn't make sense for me to take notes. No, I feel called out. But but no, the thing is, look, sometimes you might pick up on things that other people might not. Exactly. And there's no point in stopping the game and being like, oh, here, guys, here, guys, remember this? Remember, this sounds important. That's, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, the small things, you yeah. know? This kind of laziness is pretty infuriating. So much hinges on our notes, especially in a campaign like this. And him not only being lazy, but also justifying that laziness with smug and senselessness arguments is really frustrating. Yeah, I would get that. Yeah, if, it, if, it, if it is one of those, type, like, you know, for me personally, I feel like the one I'm but in I at do the minute. Need to admit, what? I don't take notes. Yeah, you don't take notes. I diddle. Yes, you do diddle. And you diddle on the fucking battle map, and you sit and draw shit in, like, the corner where you think no one can see. Oh, okay. Oh, is this just a call out, Megan? <laughs> yes, this is. Like, I, like, everybody, you call me out, so you get a call out from time to time, all right? Look, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Next post. Playing Pokemon Tabletop United. IRL, I'm married to one of the legendary Pokemon, Reshiram. No, he's Long not. Long story, don't ask. <laughs> Wait, is he one of those ones that takes the pictures with him, like, shitty photoshopped in? With, like, his hand, like, I was about hand? to say, is he, like, married to the voice actor, but... I don't think he is married. You wouldn't say that if you were married to the voice actor. Like, right, let's keep going with this. This already doesn't sound good. GM runs a black and white inspired story. Reshiram and Zekrom are the major legendaries in this story. GM erroneously mentions that both dragons are brothers. They're gonna fuck, aren't they? I the, look, why, look, 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 look. It's always, why, why do they always do this? Let's not mention this too early on, because there, you know fine rightly there's gonna be a fucking story in this. Yeah, thing. okay, look, let's keep you on. I correct GM and send him a document detailing what Reshiram is actually like. As I'm an expert... <laughs> GM refuses to heed my advice next session. Keeps having Reshiram act out of character. Wait, wait, I... wait, wait. Okay, look, I'm just saying, like, see if I'm married to this Pokemon, I'm going to indulge this degenerously. I'd like to think people would listen to me, you know? If, 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 who am I fucking kidding, Megan? Just keep going with this. This is a joke. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. No, I, I'll, I'll say it at the end. All right. GM, oh, I complain politely at the table. The other players in the GM get angry and start an argument culminates in them removing me from the game and posting logs to Facebook. Well, that's kind they of... invite friends and family members to flame me on Facebook. That's to pretty nasty. What? To like, wait, what? The... Okay. No, you know what this is. What? Is he, prote- is he garping no, his no, Chris no, Chan? No, 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 no. Oh, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Are you actually married to the legendary Pokemon, which I, I doubt? No, it was the intergalactical merge, Megan. It was the merge, and this is merge. like this is in Chris Chan. This is what I think Chris Chan thinks of. Like, who's he with now? Magic Chan. Um, He's whoever mar- else. He, okay, so he married Magic Chan. He cocked something like two out of the ghost chew, so he yeah. did. And Something else. Anyway. Yeah, he's married to but another like, one. Is this what he thinks? And then whenever people like make like fun of Sonic Chi and whoever else, it's like actually I am. Well, the thing is, he does believe everything, even if it's not created by him. It still it's happened. Canon. Yeah, yeah, it's still canon. So yeah. even if if other if, if someone else was to go off and start drawing pictures of Sonic, and Chi, he doesn't like that... people flaming him. Oh. Look, guys, I I I, 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 really want this to be fake. I don't want this to be real. I like to imagine that these people just don't exist, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep to that. This didn't happen. This is a very elaborate bit of bait. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I want it to be. Hey, guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty wifeys on your table? Cause we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Human biddies, we got lizard 
Bettys. We got Orc Bettys, Oni Bettys, Cat Bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Friend asks to join ongoing Legend of the Five Rings game I'm in. Fights for him because we're bros IRL, who gone on great playing War Machine and various board games. Won't research the setting, not even poking around YouTube or wiki pages. In scenes he waits to be promoted to do stuff like a brainless automation. Gets bored, complains about aspects of the setting that were clearly outlined in the basic core book and quits, now acting like I forced him into some torturous experience against his will. Role playing with people who learned on D&D is dangerous. The equivalent of dating a girl who was molested or is stuck in a pattern of breaking up and circling back to some abusive bad boy ex she imprinted on her teens. You can't fix them and you're going to get burned. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that, go that far. far. But I will say Legend of the Five Rings. Okay, for me, I'm not that very... Like, don't get me wrong. I do think Feudal Japan is cool, but I'm not a fucking weeb, right? And Legend of the Five Gangs is a very, as far as I'm aware, from an outside of looking in, again, this is, I don't really know much mm-hmm. about this, so I'm going to make myself look like a fucking idiot, but I do that in every <laughs> fucking video we do anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, no, it is a bit of a more serious, grounded setting, and uh, it, there, there is an awful lot to look into, especially, yeah. it's... The problem I've got, I've got with this a few times, like, you know, see one of our boys make homebrews and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, but, like, could you, what, what should I know before going into this? Or, like, you know, say you're making a character for someone's homebrew, and it's like, yeah. um, well, what's, what's it like? You know yeah. what I mean? Whereas with, like, this Legend of Five Rings, you can look it up yourself. You're not having to be like, yo, man, what happened give, here? Give us, give us can, some details. Can we give us, you know what I mean? And you don't have to sit down with them for, like, five, six hours for them to work out. Yeah well this is actually what my land is like you know yeah so uh yeah i don't know i don't think D players are really that bad but no. um i do yeah. think they get stuck sometimes they do they do and i think a lot of people fall back on it it's like well i already know this system i'm happy with it i can't say fucking anything i haven't played anything but D. <laughs> yeah so i can't say anything well i like it you know i don't think it's a bad yeah. system but again i suppose we're just gonna be called normies yeah. be me plays an anime inspired game. Whole point of my character is that he has a really big family and his sole reason to live is to be reunited with them. Bogok from Pokemon. <laughs> yes. Explicitly mentioned to my GM that family members would likely be in other countries just so there's zero chance they end up in danger and collectively get murdered. I even assigned each family member a personal bodyguard in my background just as extra, extra protection. Two games in, we come to a secret lab where my character and his family were raised. Everyone is dead! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Somehow, despite being on the run, all the extended family and protectors had the great it- idea to return to where we escaped from, only to get killed. I am visibly unhappy, but I still decide to roll with it. See, no, I'd throw well, say, I, I'd yeah. be so pissed off. Uh, look, man, I really wanted this. This is what I designed the character for. Yeah. Like, you know, I like to think he. I, because it's going to change his whole character. Yeah. Like, you know, is that one of the points where you just turn around and just, like, put the barrel on your mouth and be like, right, next character go up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. <sighs> GM introduces two survivors. The one character I liked the least, a brother, and the one I liked the most, a sister. Well, at least not everything is lost. The one I liked the most is infected, poisoned, insane, about to die. I roll for anything I can do within my limited skills to help. I even got critical successes once or twice, which in our system equals automatic success, no matter how improbable. Nope, nothing worked. Allies, who you're playing psychos, decided to mercy kill my sister. Got told afterwards the only ones who could have saved her were my psycho allies, who are playing psychopathic killers. GM can play some good games, but man was that one of the stupidest things he's done in a game. I told him afterward that if you kept acting like that, I'll stop putting in work role playing and I'll just play the murder hobo-ist murder, ho- murder hobo that can be, and send all his elaborate story plots to hell. Fortunately, he listened. Well, well at least good. he listened. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, it's kind of a bullshit thing to do, <laughs> yeah. especially whenever you specifically you said like, no, him, no, I like, want this, this to this. be like I get using backs, like Look, the, the I, character I, backstories for storylines. Yeah. I get it, but. 
He's he's explained that his family are on like, different like, islands. It's, it's, they're they're like, different countries. It's anime. Like everyone knows the power of friendship in anime. Like you just can't get anything better than that. Yeah. <laughs> power, like you know, family and <laughs> friends. Power of friendship, all that shit. That's very important in an anime setting. Yeah. So going for that sort of a background, I think makes a lot of sense. You know, maybe he's out adventuring, trying to make a bit of money. He needs to sort. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what he wants to do. He just like, I want to play it safe. I want to go tired the character. That's what I want to go for. Yeah. You know, um, I can get maybe you could do like, I, I hate bringing this up. We've actually talked to, well, I suppose we're talking about sins here and tabletop and <laughs> Japanese <laughs> culture go hand in hand, <laughs> guys. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how it is. Um, but no, maybe you could do, you know what would be really cool? I, I've been trying to get Megan to watch this for ages. Grieve of the Firefly. And I feel like you could maybe redo that with maybe the sister that's very ill. If they didn't decide to march Keller, maybe they could have kept her, like, you know, damn, like, radiation poisoning. Yeah. And then you could have actually made, if any of you guys have watched Grieve the Firefly, I would highly recommend it. It's not Weep Trash. I would consider it actually genuinely a great movie. It just happens to be anime. But, yeah. like, well, I've no more said about it. <laughs> maybe you could have went something like that. That would have been a cool way of going about it. Yeah. Be a high intelligence wizard. Party gets a bag of holding. Roll absurdly high arcana to identify it. Yeah, it's a bag of holding. You know exactly what it does. From DM, because we faffed about enough. Later kill boss. He drops an ob- obviously super cursed object. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I feel like I've been in that situation before. <laughs> like, never got a cursed object. Go to waste, guys. <laughs> Succeed dexterity to scoop up cur- cursed object in bag of holding so nobody has to touch it until we can blow it so it's you're like picking up dog shit <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly what happened you know what you do like i've been trying to i've been trying to, this is why Tia won't give me a bag of holding and i really really want a bag of holding well, you'd my, be dangerous with no a bag of you know what i want to do is i just want to get a bag of holding rip the bottom of it out so it ends up in like you know that pocket dimension chip yeah. and literally if you can fit it in a bag of holding you can just put everything you want into another dimension you don't need to worry about that shit. So like I, just put it over people? Well I was also thinking like you know maybe if we get a strap the bag of holding to like you know one of the blisters on one of the ships. <laughs> <laughs> like think of the possibilities. This is why Teal won't give you a fucking <laughs> bag of holding. give me shit anymore. Teal won't give you nothing <laughs> anymore. Like I really want to Teal if you're listening just please I, I really want that bag of holding. Don't give me. And they, they, you know the thing is they won't even put it in the magic shop. I can afford a bag of holding if I wanted one. Because he knows what you're going to do. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, can't be dealing like, with what I'm, what, what, what I'm gonna do with the bag of holding is gonna be fun, right? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna fuck up the story, though. You're just anytime you're in a country, it's already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> It's already <laughs> fucked. Let's not try and get ourselves. Uh, I don't even know what story we're reading anyway. <laughs> oh, right. fu- okay. Something about a bag of holding. Let's do this. So, so nobody has to touch it. Yeah, he picked up the dog shit until we can blow it up. Okay, put some other crap in it. Later, want to sell some stuff from bag to get travel money. Get told to roll randomly for which item I pull out instead of just grabbing what I wanted after sticking my hand in it. I mean, no one put, no one puts fucking dog shit in their fucking handbag, do they? I know. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta wrap that shit up at least. Says the rules for bags of holding are too vague, so he makes it an equal random chance to grab each item in it, so no matter what I wanted to look for. I know it's a cursed plot device, I wouldn't mind having a 5-10% to 10% chance of grabbing the evil thing every time because magic. But a bag like that is effectively a useless cursed item. Literally nobody has ever used a standard bag of holding like that. An intelligence character wouldn't even use the piece of shit if they knew it would just spit out whatever whether you like it or not. Look, look, I've got a really simple way of fixing this for you. What you do is, right, you, you get your bag... the bottom of the bag. No, no, you don't, <laughs> you don't even need to rip open the bottom of the bag. You literally just hold it upside down and start fucking shaking it <laughs> and let everything get out of the bag that's not a bad idea no let me just fucking shake the bag get everything out everything like empty out the bag if you're having a lot of difficulty like find someone that has sheep water fucking flush it flush the bag out you know what i mean you'll be able to get it out yeah like let me just empty everything but out what, of the bag if they flush the if they're but if they flush the water 
Would the water not get stuck in that other dimension? No, no, not if the bags, if, as long as the bags are not lipped. Bags full of water, you got a b- Well, uh, no, bag of holdings, do you have a weight limit? And I don't know what the, I can't remember what the weight limit is off the top of my head. Like, either way, just shake the fucking bag upside down <laughs> until everything comes out of it. Like, you know, you, do you really need to keep that cursed item? You might have to. You might have but to. But, like, but you know, like, like, I'm sure you, like, you skipped it up before, you can skip it up again, or you just don't, you know what I mean? Pump it but, into the fucking thing. I don't know. You can just empty the fucking bag <laughs> so you don't have a chance of fucking picking it up every time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know? Or, well, put the cursed item in another fucking bag. Yeah, so a, you a, don't a, need to touch a bag it. that no one put carries. Put it in so. an actual bag and then yeah. put it into, like, a wagon no, or something. No, you know what you do? You get a hobo sack stick with, like, a hobo sack. On your back, yes, and that's how you carry it. Or item. no, the, you, you know what you do, right? You turn this into weapons. So what you do is you get the stick, you put the you put the cursed thing in it, yeah, and then you beat people with it. You so then you're cursing the other people, and then you're not even touching that shit. <laughs> yes. So there you go. You put a curse <laughs> on people. It's a cursing stick. Yeah, exactly. You now got a perfect cursing stick. I, I, if I was a DM personally, I would give that maybe a plus one to magic. So I would like you know just uh, just saying. I think I think that would be a pretty cool one. You know. Uh, till you need to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's how I would deal with it. I know I know how I would deal with it. it. Would be absolutely horrible. But like you know, I'm just saying, there might be a bit of sense in, in there. You know. How would you how, how would you guys handle this? Game proposed as low magic, post-apocalyptic, prevent super apocalypse fa- fantasy game. Fuck, Fuck that's a mouthful. Two rogues and an artificer. Every single NPC hates us. Every single <laughs> well, why would they not? <laughs> why would they actually not? That sounds like Osby. That sounds like a great way. Like that party composition just sounds for like, yeah, people aren't going to like you very much. Every single NPC refuses to share information with us. Find out we're supposed to go to these bunkers slash tombs and activate something through an old recording device. Setting turned out to be the future Earth after some demon thing. We head to the one northeast because it's the coolest and sounds the least dangerous. We come across a camp of three cultists. One of the cultists complains that they're supposed to wait around here for weeks. We watch them from atop the hill, observing them and deciding to wait until nightfall and rely on the good aspect of our horribly optimised, mostly rogue party. Wait until one turns in for the night and we sneak up on the other two. Turns out the cultists were horrible mutants with unbreakable skin oh, for sake. <laughs> and bladed appendages. They insta-kill us. No <sighs> dice are rolled, we simply die. <laughs> Hi, why does this happen so often? <laughs> Including the artificer he was waiting behind the rock. <laughs> why? <laughs> the one in the tent appeared out of nowhere and simply crushed him to death. GM shits on us for not realising we weren't supposed to go there yet. You should have known that when they said they have to wait for weeks. We've been seething about this for fucking months. <laughs> At no point was it indicated, in or out of character, that there was an order we were supposed to go in. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, honestly, to me, that just sounds like the DM was like, hmm, I don't want to DM this game anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, these we, guys, you know, to me, this sounds like the DM's like, these guys are assholes. <laughs> I'm just like, let's just, like, let's just kill, kill them. <laughs> like, you know, let, let's not even try and be subtle about it. It's like, yeah, you guys. Oh, the what, rogue falls what, out you, of nowhere. Oh, what, you, what, you, you, oh. I sh- thought you guys would have known that. You weren't supposed to be here what you, yet. What do you mean you didn't know that? Did you not listen to that? I don't know. What do you do with that? Good like, move, DM. Good move. Yeah, ex- excellent. That was uh, that was very <laughs> cash money of you, have, you know. He flamed hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> I sound so white. <laughs> that, I flamed. That's cringe. Like, all I'm going to say is, so that's, I think that's where we're going to end it here. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of the people in this thread, there was sins committed against you. However, you're playing... Like, you know, like, I'm sorry to say... You're probably not innocent. Anime was not a good thing to happen to <laughs> tabletop role-playing games. I'm just putting out there. Now, anime can be fun, and people, a lot of people can enjoy it. You know, I'm not saying it's all horrible, nasty, but uh, it doesn't have a good influence. No. They, they're kind of... You know what it is? It's kind of like Native Americans and cowboys, you know, and they just like, rub up against each other the wrong way. And uh, someone's going to end up scalped, or we're going to have to mention it. Oh, at least one person's going to end up scalped. Uh, one, so one's getting scalped, and the last is getting genocided, right? <laughs> There's no, there's no two ways about it, all right, guys. Like that's just what happens, all right. Is whenever two cultures just don't that don't get along, rub it against each other. It just, it, look, it just happens, all right. And uh, that's kind of what anime is. But I want to know more about the guy that says he's married to that Pokemon. Yeah, I, I want to know more about I, I, him. Like, he says, oh yeah, it's a long story. It's like no, 
you must tell <laughs> that. Need to, that. Fuck whatever else fuck you're telling me, just talk. tell me this. Yeah, I want to know more about that. But yeah, like, have you had any sins committed against, against you? I, I, I don't think I have, really, personally. I think I've, I've, <laughs> not, uh, not being allowed to have a bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, bar, bar me being banned from certain magic items for my own uh, safety, let's just say, like, let's be, look, Megan, you don't even say nothing because, right, when we were in, uh, when we came across that sphere of annihilation, you tried to fuck me in it last time before we knew what it was. Yeah, yeah, you but did. I wanted to test out what a dumb. <laughs> yeah, my fucking I've never man. seen one before. Yeah, and I you wanted t- <laughs> to put your neck in it. <laughs> yeah, and you tried to fucking fuck me into it. Now, luckily, <laughs> I passed a bit of a deck save because, like, you know, I managed that. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, Megan was like, oh, yeah, let's experiment with this. Like, let's see. So I was sitting fucking pinging locks. I threw a few gold coins in. Because <laughs> it was like a big open mouth. And I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe it's like a wishing well. Maybe we could do something <laughs> like that. And uh, Megan was like, oh, yeah, just go on in. Sure, have a wee look. It's like, I don't know. Like, it, it, Teal, says, it, head in, Teal says it's pretty black. Like to me, it looks, it looks pretty foreboding. You know, it doesn't look good. So look, I'm just saying, it's not all me, okay? I'm, not, I'm like, you know, Mega <laughs> tries to say, like, oh yeah, James, you're horrible. How can you ever do these things? It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're just bad. You're just bad. And this is why we're married. <laughs> yeah. So like, if you guys have any sins of your own, let us know them down below. Um, not sins of your own. No, if no, you've ever had sins, sins committed, committed against, against you in tabletop. Yeah. If you have any, let us know. We might do a video if we get enough good ones. Yeah. We'll do a video compilation of them because I I like hearing your guys'. And as always, check out the links, the models, the subclasses, the t shirts, all that good shit. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!